Maxine survived X and killed Pearl and uh, Howard, and now a killer's after her all these years later. In Hollywood. Your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Great for Maxine, man. Porno star is still a star. If that's why my resume will be proud like hell yeah, man. I crush it out there. She cries and crushes the audition and gets the part. Nice. Then she tells her gay best Theo all about it. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and Maxine fucking Minx. That's right, John Travolta was Carrie. And I think they would see like George Clooney or something like that, but no, I don't think that's true. Or he wasn't even a star by 1985, but yeah, good point. Jennifer Aniston and Leprechaun, it's a very long list. And Maxine Mix, she's putting herself on that list. Yeah, she's got to make it. And starring in a horror movie, dude. Like Her friend is all paranoid about the Night Stalker guy who's just killing a whole bunch of people in that area. But this is an unrelated serial killer. Of course she's got a cum strap. She lived through X and ever since then, of course, you know, who can blame her for carrying a gun everywhere. It definitely comes in handy right now. You can run, and you can hide, but you'll never get away. Drop it! Buster. What were you gonna do, huh? Nothing. I, I was just playing around. Well, we're playing now. Yeah, she plays around by making him strip naked, and then she steps on his nuts brutal and i think they fall off like all right that that's pretty much a kill her friends that night that mentioned they're going to a hollywood party they turned up dead her friends that she works in uh porno with detectives are smarter than that because what the killer's like all right if i just brand these girls with satanic stuff they're gonna think it's the night stalker then i could kill as many people as i want but they're like no we, we think it's a different killer a killer that's sort of targeting maxine maxine doesn't really want to talk to the cops and she's like well i gotta go to work and their other job besides porno and acting is be boothing I guess you would go to a booth and you would put like a quarter in or a dollar worth of quarters and then the girl would be like dancing naked to you on their side so you can like, you know, pledge yourself or something inside that booth and yeah, she does have to see you. Remember her gay bestie at the video store? Well, he's one of the victims because the Jallo guy comes through and Damn him <laughs> right inside the video store slices them up pretty damn good even to the police it seems like well all these people are connected to maxine but they're not like she's a suspect they might have thought about that at first but i think when they wheeled that dead guy out of the video store she walked up like oh my god she had nothing to do with it she was authentic like oh i'm shocked who the hell did this not like a killer would like oh well yeah i know because i killed him my employer is a very powerful man the past ain't finished with you it's gonna keep knocking at your door well there you go kevin bacon is the private investigator hired by a very powerful man i don't know she comes from that like religious like nut job group so probably that's who hired him yeah if you've seen the first movie you have a feeling it's that guy but i don't know we have to wait till the third act to find out for sure they secretly mailed her a tape and got their hands on the like police evidence tape of everything that went down in X. It's mostly just the porno that she shot there, but I guess it links her to the crime scene, so she freaks out as she goes to her agent slash lawyer slash mafioso guy who comes in handy. Maxine goes to work and then she's at the Universal Studio lot. Oh, she goes by the Bates Motel. That's so cool. I think they just said they were done filming Psycho 2. Old Lady Pearl is standing there in the window looking back at her like she's like Norma Bates. 
Kevin Bacon, sore won't leave her alone for a bit. Eva shows up on set with a gun. She is not having it. She makes like a fist kiss and punches him in the face a couple of times. This dude makes a mistake of following her to a club that she was DJing at at the time. But it was really a trap set up by her and that agent lawyer mafioso guy. <laughs> they knocked him out, put him inside a car, and then had the car crushed. And then a bunch of blood poured out of the car. So that guy's go. After that's dealt with, she decides to ditch her back up and then go up to that Hollywood Hills house that Kevin Bacon was mentioning. So she goes there all alone and blah, gets attacked and suffocated with the bag. But that's only like so she could be part of like this live exorcism ceremony being put on by her daddy. At that same staircase, her movie bestie actually got killed and her head falling out of a suitcase. We didn't get a kill, we just got this body reveal, which was pretty rad. I don't know if they were even going to try to kill her. I mean, that's his daughter, but he was going to try to brand her with that thing and kill her like those other two girls. But then the police show up at the very end. There's a big shootout. A whole lot of people get shot. A dude gets lit on fire and falls into the pool. And I think that was her daddy. Then they chased him all the way up into the Hollywood Hills. And what? Two of the cops ended up being killed bobby cavallari got shot and then he died out like a little bit later like oh, i've never been up here Ugh. <laughs> and the girl i think she got stabbed in the eye with a cross and rolled down the hill she might have lived but i don't know could have died too and then her daddy was up there begging for his life and then she shot his face off with a shotgun <laughs> Boom! Almost sort of like how she killed Pearl. You just That's her favorite sword type of kill. Just get rid of the head altogether. She ended up making the Puritan 2. And then all these headlines came out about her. She did like news and press. And became like a huge movie star. And you're like, really? <laughs> is that how it would happen? Yeah, I guess so. And this is the end of the trilogy. And I don't know, dude. Maybe we'll even make a 4. But it seemed like Maxine got like a happy ending.